Hello, friends. Grandma's so happy. Hey, I'm cutting a bunch of onions today, going to can them. And my mom gave me this tip. Put matches in your mouth, the sulfur absorbs the odor, and you don't cry. Working pretty good. This is what I'm doing. Cutting onions, I'm going to can them. There's three bags. They're each three pounds. So that's nine pounds of onions I'm going to cut up and can today. Okay, friends, this is my largest stainless steel bowl I have. And I thought I only had nine pounds. I actually had 12 pounds of onions. So now I'm going to put these in a kettle, cover them with a little bit of water, cook them, boil them for five minutes, and then I'm going to jar them up and pressure can them for 40 minutes. Now my altitude, I have to do everything at 15 pounds pressure. And so it's 40 minutes no matter what size jar you use. And these onions, once they're canned, you can add them to stews, you can pour them over meatloaf, you can do so much, but it's a way to get your onions to last longer. Here in um, Minnesota, it's gotten cold. I was hoping to be able to dehydrate some, but I, by this weekend, they say it's going to get nice out. So when I say nice, it might be 40 degrees maybe or something. But I'm going to get some more onions and see if I can stick my dehydrator out for a little bit and see if I can get it to work. So it's just letting you know. And the matches, if you bite on them, they work amazing. But I'm hoping to um, try out sometime the Thrive Life onions. Um, my daughter, Live in the Dream is selling Thrive Life and so uh, maybe one day down the road here we can try that but I had these onions um, so yeah that's what I'm doing talk to you in a bit okay friends this is you can see the reflection of the towel because I'm still trying to wash up jars and stuff from the other projects from last night. Excuse my voice, I am fighting some kind of hoarseness. Anyways, this is my big stock pot. And it is, what? Up to my first knuckle, that's from the top. And uh, so I'm gonna cover it with water and boil it for five minutes. And then I'm going to put it in clean jars. I've washed my my lids and rings and then I'm going to put it in the pressure canner and can it for 40 minutes at 15 pound pressure for my altitude. Okay friends, now if these onions look brown it's because those white onions turned into French onion soup mix. And I had an extra broth, so I canned the broth. Those are the spices at the end. So, yep, that's what I ended up doing. When I showed my family what I was making, they were hungry for French onion soup. So what I did is made a beef broth. I got it off the needy homesteader. And... She showed or told there's some other channels too that you probably could find a recipe on, but I used um, this is what I happened to be able to get access to better than bullion. Had my daughter go pick that up at Walmart, and I added thyme and garlic powder and made the beef broth and then filled up the jars. Half with my cooked onions and the rest with the broth and pressure canned them. I pressure canned these 
for 75 minutes, being there was broth in them. So I actually got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten quarts and then two jars of broth that I thought I could use for something else. You can use this onions to put over meatloaf, azure juice for like French dip. Um, I had one jar that did not seal. I think these new lids that are coming out from Ball, I'm kind of having a problem with them not all sealing. So, so I guess um, we'll enjoy that one. So yeah, this is what it turned out to be. I do have more onions. We can get them here at Quick Chop really cheap. And so um, I'm going to be doing some plain ones. But yeah, this French onion soup mix. I'm going to use some of them as gifts. Christmas is coming. And I have one son, my second one, my second son out of the three. And then I have my daughter has been asking for some goodies. And they live 100 miles away. So I think that might be what I do. So yeah, give it a try. Do something fun and amazing with your onions. Please like subscribe and join me on my other journeys when all of a sudden something changes you have a plan and then you have to have the flexibility I was going to show you here's some lemongrass that my daughter had gotten at a farmer's market it is now dried and so I'm going to be putting that in a container to be able to use um, on chicken we're going to be doing one day uh, lemongrass and horseradish so I uh, hope this finds you having an amazing day. And till next time, Grandma's so happy. Be happy and be thankful for all that you have. Bye.